With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends, here the question is, a particle is found to be at rest when seen from a frame S1 and moving with a constant velocity when seen from another frame S2. So, we have to determine which of the given options are correct here, statements. Both the frames are inertial, both the frames are non-inertial. S1 is inertial and S2 is non-inertial. S1 is non-inertial and S2 is inertial. So, firstly, we will draw two frames. Suppose there are two frames, like suppose here is the first frame and here is the second frame. So, and the particle which is to be observed here is at this position. So, initially, suppose we can con consider that this particle is at rest position, then the S1 frame is here and S2 frame is here. So, firstly, the S1 frame, uh, when we saw from S1 frame, the particle is at rest, means we can conclude that if this particle is uh, looking at rest position from this frame, so this pose, uh, frame will all must be at rest. Then for the second frame, this particle is like it is uh, seem to be moving with a, with a constant velocity, but actually the particle is at rest. So for satisfying this condition, we can conclude uh, we can conclude that S two is moving suppose with some velocity, it is in motion, and for this case. The acceleration in both the cases is zero. And when the accelerations are zero, the frame is inertial. So we can say that the both the frames are inertial. This option is correct. Now, for the second case, we can consider like suppose there are two frames again S1 and S2 like this. And now the particle is in motion means the particle is not at rest position it is moving with some velocity v and this is s1 frame this is s2 frame now for s1 frame means we have the uh, observation that the particle is at rest position when observed from s1 frame so to satisfy this condition s1 frame must also be moving with the same velocity v then only we can assume that we or we will observe that this particle is at rest position and to satisfy the condition that when the particle is observed from S2 frame, it is observed like it is moving with some constant velocity. So for this, the S2 frame must have some velocity other than V. Then only we can look this particle and it will appear as moving with a constant velocity. So in this case, the acceleration is not equal to zero. Then we can conclude that these two frames are non-inertial. But if we consider one of the frame is inertial and one of the frame is non-inertial, then the given condition will not be satisfied. So we can say that options A and B means statements A and B are true, but C and D are incorrect. So the correct option here will be option A. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.